Shin Wam, when the sort of souls by giving more place to Yahweh, but Shem now Shah Bushim Kakadash, the belongings to the apostles, great no son, and honors to brothers doing the work of no son, truth, and then sincerity. Yahweh's real name, with whom the world ignorantly calls God, Jehovah, or Yahweh, his real name is Yahweh. The son's true name is Yahweh Shai, and when we pray, pray Yahweh, Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bermany, in Hermony, Za, and Sham, meaning names Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. Real quick, um, man, the, 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 the madness that keeps coming out of the IUIC is just um, flabbergasting the scriptures constantly speak on on on, on hate and especially when it comes to the Edomites you've got the Zondaland Bible Dictionary okay you've got the different crimes of Esau right? all of these different things uh, you know Esau's to be hated the Edomites are to be hated okay and the 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 if you want to get you know, technical, we don't hate Esau enough. Okay? We don't hate Esau enough. Right? That's what the Lord says in Ezekiel 25, which we're, we're about to read in a second, that the Lord is going to put his anger upon us. Right? Because one of the things that Esau has been able to do, right? you know, you've got that, um, you know, the, 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 the play with words, right? His story, which is his story or whatever. You know, history is written by the victor. So he will let you know that, yeah, you know, he, I had you Jason in captivity, right? But he's coming at it from a position of pride, from a position of, you know, I conquered you. But what he doesn't want to speak about is all of the heinous crimes, all of the heinous things that um, he has done to our people, right? You know, starting off of our people, uh, but then when you look at the things that he's been doing to the other nations too, this man... The scriptures call him the wicked for a reason. Okay? He is to be hated. So much so that the Lord, as we're going to end, is going to get end with, is going to get rid of him from 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 the earth. Here it is, you think of the most, you know, you know, funny looking, vile looking creatures you've you've you know, you have people hate on cockroaches, right? People hate on um on uh, 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 mosquitoes, but guess what? They gonna be in the kingdom. Esau ain't gonna be in the kingdom, right? Esau's gonna be there to serve a thousand years of hardcore bondage and then no more, right? Because the Edomites are to be hated, right? Because they do nothing but bring hate and destruction and evil into the world. And the scriptures constantly speaks about you know hating them that hate the Lord, hating them that do evil. Okay, this this Edomite is contrary, right? He he doesn't belong here. Which is why he's got that mark and that mark on leprosy, right? He can't even stand in the sun without getting a, a burn. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, get scriptures from different angles. Like I said I'll start on a few on Esau, you know, end with Obadiah one eighteen, right? You know, and then you know just a few precepts on you know the scriptures just talk, constantly talk about hate the good, hate so say and hate the evil, love the good, right? And then you know hating evil as a whole. But let's start here. This is uh, Ezekiel 25 and 12. It says, Thus saith the Lord power, because that Edom hath dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and hath greatly offended, not greatly offended, and revenged himself upon them. Therefore thus saith the Lord power. Because uh, this uh, is another piece that says, um, you know, furthered the affliction. Because, right? yeah, we were given into to, into these Edomites. Right? The Lord did do that. right? However, right, these Edomites, they went too far. Right, but you can remember, but the Lord, but Lord was still here, yeah, and the Lord made you go too far, right? And then guess what? You're gonna be judged for it, right? Just the same way that the Lord made us go off, right? But uh, uh, so that we could be judged, right? These Edomites, they they gonna be judged, man. <laughs> they gonna be judged, right? No matter with those hand join in hand. Right, it's Jeremiah 49 and 12 for thus saith Yahweh, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk it. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Okay, so what's that judgment, man? You, you know, we, we, you know, the Israelites, well, we drank of that cup, right? You know, that wasn't our lot, but that, that, that ultimately was our lot. Right, so basically saying, look, man, it's, if if my people can go through this, right? Are, are you? Do you think you're gonna go unpunished? This is not. You're gonna be unpunished, right? And you're gonna surely drink of that cup of slavery, man. Right, you're gonna drink the dregs of it. 
So let's carry on back in Ezekiel 25. It says uh, in 13, Therefore thus saith the Lord power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Eden, and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of the Dan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Eden by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger, and to according and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord power. So Lord, right? Oh man, this, so the Lord is in the heavens. He sees he's, he's got the records of what all of these Edomites have done against the children of Israel. Right? He's got the records, right? He's seen it. Right, um, and because right now we we may walk past an Edomite, just be like, nah, it's just an Edomite, right? Not knowing that you know in his past life he could have been a you know a Thomas Thistlewood type of Edomite, right? Because you get certain ones that they speak about, but then you got a whole bunch of them, right? You got a whole bunch of them. Once again, they're a nation of the wicked, right? So. You know, the Lord's going to let us see what it is that they were doing back in, in you know, in, 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 in their past life. What it is that they're doing in this life behind closed doors, right? And all of that judgment is going to be, um, you know, is going to be me. So, yeah, for one time, the Lord's going to have to put his anger on us, man. You know, you know what time it is. Right, it says Amos one eleven. It says, "Thus saith Yahweh: For three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the, uh, the 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 punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword." Right, and they're saying we ain't supposed to hate this man. It says he pursued his brother with the sword, and in fact, that allows us to get a precept here. It's Ezekiel uh, thirty five uh, and from five, because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I say, uh, as I live, saith the Lord, how I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sith, which means since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. So here it is, just going around, you know, trying to, you know, slaughter Jake. You know, so the Lord's like, yeah, hi, man, hey, that's going to return up on you. Says, uh, so back in Amos uh, 1 11, because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity. Yeah, <laughs> it just, it's Edomite, it just, it just carried on. No pity, right? You, you, you look at certain of the stories, no matter, he just went all out man, woman, child, the ancient, right? Everyone, he just went mad. Says, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever, okay. And yeah, so I mean, like, it's just a few precepts, man. You, and you know, you got books uh, that you can go into. You have got um, uh, what is this one? The hundred years of lynching. Right, you got certain bits of history. Once again, these are things that are are, are have been reported. Right, these are just the things that have been reported. Right, who you know? Or imagine all the other stuff that we don't know about. Right, so. Yeah, it says now, um, uh, Psalms 139 uh, from 21 says, Do not I hate them, O Yahweh, that hate thee? Am I not grieved uh, 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 with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with a perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Right? So, uh, 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 you know, so-called Israelites that hate the Lord. We hate them. Right? We understand, you know, that they're, uh, what, what lot that, you know, they're in. Right? We understand that. Um, you know, they're, 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 that's just a lot of of the, um, you know, of, of you know, you got you got the, the elect to the most high, and you got the non elect. And that's just that's just what it is, right? You know, when you when you get Jay that be saying that they hate the Lord, she's like, yo, you look, you're an enemy, right? It says I hate them with a perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies, right? So, but I would say not 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 only them though, right? But you know, these Edomites, these heathens, right? You don't say you love the heathens, man. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. You know, they're still in a better position than you. Yeah, and that should vex you. Scripture says, um, uh, oppression maketh a wise man mad. Right? This this Edomite has created this system of oppression, right? That has just kept, you know, Jacob at, 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 at the bottom. And not only that, he's, he's then pushed that image out to the rest of the world. Right, where you get one Jake that believe that they're at the bottom, right, that they can't amount to anything. That's why 
when they come across this truth, right? So on, on the one side, those uh, that are of the hopeful elect, they hear it and they're like, whoa, you mean I am somebody, right? And then you've got the other side who, you know, is so far-fetched because Esau has fed these lies to them from a young age, right? And he's, 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 he's fed it to the heathen, right? And then the heathen, he, here is heathen, won't even uh, have ever seen you, but they've got an idea, you know, because of the, the media, right that of, of what the kind of person you are going to be right but yeah this is uh, psalms 26 and 5 i have hated the congregation of evildoers i will not sit with the wicked it says and and then of course we can't forget romans nine thirteen, as it is written jacob have i loved but esau have i hated okay about oh we don't hate you don't hate me, so <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You know, there's a whole. You can do a whole series on reasons why this Edomite needs to be need, need it should be hated. Right? You can do a whole series on that. Right? You know, talk whether it's you know uh, technology. Right? Here it is. He'll he'll come and bring these certain bits of technology. But when you read the fine print, the fine print tells you straight up that the technology ain't ain't ain't, ain't, ain't good for you. Right? You can look at the food. What he's doing in the food, you can look at what's happening uh, in, in, in the waters and the oceans, right? You can look at what's happening, uh, uh, you know, on land with animals and the air, the pollution in the air. Esau's polluted space. Esau's polluted space. But yet he's not supposed to be hated. What I mean, what kind of compromised BS is that, man? Okay. Right? You know, and then, uh, you know, on the, on the next kind of vein, right, is the vein of, you know, w you know, we're supposed to hate evil, right? You know, love the good and hate evil, right? So I'm going to, uh, you know, grab a few precepts, starting off with uh, Proverbs um, 8 and 13. It says, the fear of Yahweh is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate, right? <clears throat> Psalms 97 and 10 says, Ye that, uh, ye that love Yahweh hate evil. He preserved the souls of his saints and delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. Um, it says, uh, Amos 5, 14 and 15, Seek good and not evil, that ye may live. And so Yahweh, the power of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken. Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that Yahweh a uh, power of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of of Joseph. Hate the hate, hate the evil, right? Uh, Proverbs six sixteen. These things doth Yahweh hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him, right? Uh, it says a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running uh, to mischief a false witness that speaketh lies and he that soweth discord among brethren right and then if you want to look at uh, you know Esau apply this to Esau right a heart that deviseth wicked imagination this is when was that Micah right, let's grab that uh, real quick right it says um, Micah 2 right woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their heads where in the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand, right? And they cover fields and take them by violence, right? And you, you look at the whole you know, situation out there in Gaza, right? He basically, you know, one of the things uh, that came out is they, there's an oil field or a gas field. Basically, there's, there's a, a, you know, a, a natural resource field just off of the coast, Okay. Just off of the coast, they've, uh, uh, you know, they, they they know that it's there. So here it is, you know, they've just, you know, that because some, some people say that's one of the reasons why, you, you, well, we know one thing for sure is because these Edomites are the, the devil, right? They're the wicked that the Bible speaks of. It says, um, and take them by violence and houses and take them away so they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage, Okay. You know, hey, you 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 think them so-called Palestinians are, are are saying that you should be loving Esau, man? You know when 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 this whole thing started out in October last year, man. You know, on Twitter, the the kind of graphic images that I was seeing. You know, you seeing pictures of parents just like 
with you know carrying plastic literal plastic bags of their children's remains plastic bags a couple of bags just you know body parts in this bag and that part and that bag just you know so that they can go and try give them some kind of burial but yeah Esau's not supposed to be here the scripture says he took peace from the earth Right, Antin was given a great sword. This man is to be hated. Once again, so much so that the Lord Himself is going to get rid of him from off the face of the earth. Right? Psalms 34 13. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking girl. Uh, depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Right? Uh. They that are Proverbs 11 and 20, they that are a froward heart, right? A twisted, crooked, perverse, <laughs> right? Um, heart are an abomination to Yahweh, but such as are upright in their way are his delight. So, so the Lord hates, right? Because when the Lord is telling us to be like, yo, you know, hate the hate the evil, it's because he, he wants us to be like him, right? He wants us to have that spirit of righteousness. Right, so you know when when uh, um, when when you see uh, evil being done, right? We hate the evil and we hate the perpetrators of that evil, right? Whether it be our own people, right, or whether it be a heathen. I mean, he will be you know doing all manner of evil up in this world, okay? Um, and then, yeah. Let me just finish with this. This is um, Obadiah 118. It says, The house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. Right? For Yahweh hath spoken it. Right? So the Lord has spoken that these Edomites are going to be done away with. Right? And rightfully so. Right? He's, he's, he's done a great history of being he's done a great job rather through the spirit of the lord of course right this 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 man ain't as apostles say he, he's not uh, a prolific prolific right you know they just repeat the same thing over and over again but ultimately it's because they're guided by yahweh bashem they are shy right but these edomites they um uh i forgot the point that i was gonna make right but yeah the point is man they, they're gonna be they're gonna be done away with man Right, because the Lord hates them. In fact, I'll end with that. Right, Romans nine thirteen, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Okay. Um so yeah, so Lord's all that was edifying to the next time we say Shalom.